in this video I'm going to be talking about the page event uh, because um, in uh, ASP.NET it's not only the controls, it's not only all the controls on the toolbox that we've been using like button and um, link button, image button, those are not the only ones with the uh, event. Every uh, even the page itself is a is an event. So um, let me enable, let me um, you know I set the trace to be true earlier on. So I want to remove this. So I hope you've been following me along with all my videos. So uh, anyway, um, let me show you something really quick. This is half topic. I just want to show you because some people doesn't they don't know that you can actually drag and drop uh, control onto the um, source view. You can just like you can drag it onto the I mean let's drag a label down here as well just as you can drag into the design view you can also drag into the anyway so that's not what I want to talk about so what I want to talk about is uh, that's why I need a div tag div div tag because I deleted the div tag by mistake so anyway and now I have a div tag on my page which is okay so what I want to talk about in this is um, the page events because it's not only for example let's select the page itself and um, we can see that uh, the page no the page itself and uh, uh -huh. we can see can you see we can see all the event that is associated with the page but the one that we use most of the time is the load uh, the page load if event we have 10 or more events we have the unload but um, in order to show you or let me show you quickly how to uh, how the um, the hierarchy is the pre in it then the second one is um, in it I guess this in it means initial initialization in it complete so this is the step it takes in executing those events so each one of them will be raised we have the preload event then we have the load load events then we have um, the load complete 99.999 percent of the time you will not have to deal with any of this I will tell you the pre-render pre-render events we have the pre-render we have um, uh, pre-render complete so you can actually you can use any of these saved state complete that one sounds familiar isn't it saved state complete then we have the unload so these are the these are the um, steps that it takes so the first event that will fire on the server when a new page is requested is the pre-init then followed by the init then the init complete then the preload then the load then the load complete pre-render pre-render complete save state complete then the unload complete so um, okay you have to understand that the same way that these things has been um, uh, written here that's the the same order in which they fire so and I'm going to demonstrate uh, uh, this this steps is called the page execution life cycle so this are the this is the life cycle of the page execution so each page the pages each time a page is executed you have this life cycle uh, that happens but um, if I double click on this web form now anyway you see is the page loan this is the default that we usually use so that's why it's the most popular so but what I want to do in this situation is actually show you that uh, the three most famous ones that we're going to be using actually is two that is very popular is the page load and the pre-render and the reason why is this so famous is because uh, the pre-render always happening after the control event the page load happens before a page. Let me just demonstrate what I'm trying to say. Because the page load always happens after a load event, and the pre render always happens after a control event. So, the way we're going to demonstrate that is to actually uh, uh, 
let me use a button here let me okay oh, wait what's going on okay let me drag a standard I need I need the label and I need a button on top and the button so each time I click on this button each time I click on the button and uh, when the page loads I want the page load events as well let me go back to the design I want the page load which I can get by doing that and also I can get the page pre-render so pre-render I need a page pre-render as well so now I can say label 1 label 1 dot text when the page pre-render is fire equals to pre-render so I want that text to display when this uh, is fired and page load as well when the page loads are one label one dot text dot text equals to uh, page load when the page loads you see even though I didn't put this page loads to be the first one at the top the button dot click is the first one so when I click the button I want the page uh, sorry the label one dot text let's see if it matters how we arrange our <laughs> it doesn't the text will be uh, button is clicked let me say button is clicked is clicked I never can type okay uh, but because this one will be let's do this I can show you this one will be written first and uh, you know let me just do plus equals the reason why it's plus equals is because it's going to write if you don't understand what that means I'll explain to you if you want to know but uh, let me just do this br then br I'm adding a line break you see the reason why that is necessary line break Um, are we ready? Let's try it. Let's hope there's no error. Well, seems there's no error. Okay. Um, if I click a button, oh shit! Let me delete all this stuff on the on this and just leave the label alone because it's confusing us. Right. Just our label. Okay. Let's run our application now and see what's going on we can see yeah the label text you see the page load then the page render right if I click on button we can see with the page load again and the button is clicked then the pre-render if I click on it again same thing will always happen because the page loads always happen before any control event is fired and the pre-render is always happened after the control event is fired so that's what I'm trying to demonstrate so let's let me select this so you can understand if I create button you can see it's always firing in the same order it doesn't matter how I arrange the methods here because if I go to the source view even if I put this one to be first uh, if I put uh, pre-render method to be first it doesn't really matter Oops, if I put it at the top here. You see, the pre render is the first one. Let's run the application again and see if that actually matters because it would never matter. Because uh, the execute the, the method, see, page load button is clicked, pre render. Page load button is clicked, pre render. So that's what I'm trying to show you. So that's how you use the, um, the page event so if you want to find out more uh, check out Microsoft documentation